welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the improvisation programme which has all the good taste of American hamburger and all the good sense of British beef featuring tonight. <laughs> After an extended period on loan to the Royal Shakespeare Company, Dame Josie Lawrence. Then on a not very free transfer from Men Behaving Badly, Mistress Caroline Quentin. Then a man so talented he can only be named after a Shakespearean character, the fool Colin Mockery. And then finally, fresh from playing Hamlet and several other brands of cigar, the noble Lord of Seattle, Ryan Stiles. The first game we're going to play tonight is film and theatre styles with Josie and Caroline. I'd like to come on down and they have to improvise a little scene, uh, which I'll give them in just a moment. But uh, we'd like to use some film styles, theatre styles, as suggested now by the studio audience. Sleeping with the wolves. Sleeping with the wolves. Oh, good. Sleeping with the wolves. It's a hobby. Sorry. You're... Star Wars. Baywatch. Star Wars, Baywatch. Thank you. Thank you. Power Rangers. And again, from behind me, a bit quiet. 70s cop show. You're waiting for me to turn around, are you? This is a 70s cop show, anyone while I'm here? A great theatre audience, then. No. Yeah. <laughs> Any more theatre styles for Carolyn? Restoration comedy. Brecht. There you are, Brecht. So let's, um, this, what you've got to do, Josie is the first person to fly to Neptune and is having trouble with her android, played by Caroline. <laughs> That's your scene, and away you go. That's right. a challenging one. Put on gravity control. Gravity control. Put it on. No. <laughs> R23PCO. What? Please don't ask me to repeat your name. <laughs> you can't, can you? You made me, and yet you know not my name. R2C. You Baywatch. Do. We've got to save people out there. I didn't realise. I thought we. Do some more of that. Well, I did. <laughs> Seventies cop show. Yes, cover me. You can make bigger hands, I think. <laughs> bigger hands, I can give you bigger hands. <laughs> I'm ready. What? Restoration comedy. Oh, Mistress Pittywinkle, I fear not whether I come hither from thither or thither from in my flight came. Oh, my, my lady, tis a problem, tis a problem indeed, for thou must fly. Tis a, tis a, tis verily a problem. But wait, wait, who steps in? In, in, but tie, fie, fie, tis I, the only woman on Neptune. There is someone else, please tell. Oh, but tis Lord Enormous Codpiece, methinks. Enormous Codpiece, pretty, how did he come to buy? <laughs> I shall again, for he is the finest on Neptune. Why, it is said so, and though there be no gravity outside, why, madam, his gravity outweighs all. Excellent, <laughs> and there. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you, Dick. Excellent. And where else can you cover everything from Baywatch to restoration comedy as we go on to a game called uh, Secret? And uh, this is for Ryan and Colin. Uh, they come on down and they're just playing a part of two members of an orchestra. And we join the scene just 30 seconds before a secret is discovered, whatever that may be. But where do you think the secret would be hidden, in people in an orchestra? Violin. So it's in a violin, in a violin, you're in the orchestra, find that secret. <laughs> boom, 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 it's boom. me for another 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You just don't seem into it, Roger. Well, uh, I don't know. I, playing the cymbals is just not me. I want to play the violin. I don't know. You, I don't think you have what it takes, really. You know what? I'm just going to sneak over there. No, yeah, no, I just no I'm just going to take cymbals, it right now. Roger, I wouldn't even don't go near there. No, Roger, I wouldn't... <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't find that. It's your baby blanket. I'm speechless. Well, I just know that you've been worried about being fired from the orchestra here, and I, I thought you'd need something to give you a bit of security. And while I know you're a kid at heart, I thought your old blanket might do it for you. This blanket has nothing but bad memories for me. What? <laughs> My mother used to wet it and twirl it and smack me with it. Oh, I forgot about that murder charge. Uh, I fear I go mad. I'm sorry. Give me the blanket. I'm sorry I put that in there. 
So I feel you? like I have nothing musical left in me. There's nothing else left in there, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no, no, look. <laughs> my rattle! <laughs> Look, Roger, I, I can see I made a mistake. My mother's ashes! <laughs> you dicks! You damn dicks! Okay, that's in there. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Oh. Well, um, that was quite funny. It was more disturbing, though, wasn't it? So, <laughs> right now, I'll give you woo, millions of marks for that, just to make you stop. Let's do a game now called Let's Make a Date. It's for all four contestants. Uh, Josie Lawrence is going to be appearing on a show called Let's Make a Date. Her possible dates are the other three, but they're each being given a different identity by consulting the envelope uh, inside their, or underneath their bottoms. And there it is. That's the identity they have to adopt. And she has to guess what they are. So away you go, Josie. I'm not a safe kind of lady. I'm a dangerous lady, and I'd like to go out on a dangerous date. What would, uh, where would you take me? Uh, pony tracking, um, initially, <laughs> and then probably something mm, rambling. I don't know, rambling possibly. And then um, I'd like to pitch up a tent with you. That'd be fun. That's lovely. <laughs> Num number two. Yeah. What what kind of dangerous date would you take me on? <laughs> number two. I'm, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, push you out a window? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose, uh, I don't know. We go out. Not in! Oh! Oh, we go out! What are you talking about? We're in! Uh, Kate? <laughs> um, I, I like to, uh, watch my man or my woman. <laughs> However way I'm feeling. Uh, I like to watch them undress at night. Will you please explain to me a particular way that you would strip off for me? Uh, in the dark, with a sleeping bag. <laughs> Number, number two. Yeah? <laughs> How would you strip off for me? Maybe we'd have three people around. <laughs> and I'd slowly show my shoulder, and perhaps the rest of me, pulling down my pants in, oh, such a tantalizing way. <laughs> Music. Oh, anything but Cliff Richard, I'll tell you that. I'm sick of hearing him all over and over again. Okay, Jersey. Well, I, I think, uh, are you John McEnroe? Uh, tennis player. Yeah, tennis player just tennis keeps calls. That's where that's fine now. Um, Caroline is, um, is are you a, a, a brown, a, a tawny owl? Yeah, yeah. Scout, yeah, yeah Caroline. Scout, yeah, very good, excellent. And, um, um Colin reminds me of a bloke I used to go out with. Uh, he's interested in, he's a sex mad he's, person who's interested in he, anybody but me. Yeah, uh, he fancies the other two, yes. Oh, that's, uh, 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 All right, okay.